Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the discriminant. By the way, guys, what is a discriminant? Discriminant is an expression that we can use in determining what kind or what nature of roots do we have in a given quadratic equation without solving it. So, in other words, parang ano, hindi mo na kailangang isolve pa by factoring, by completing the square, or by quadratic formula yung isang quadratic equation para malaman lang kung ito ba real number, imaginary, or unequal. So, gamit ang discriminant, we can already determine the nature of the roots of any quadratic equation. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, we have here the expression b squared minus 4ac is the quadratic equation's discriminant. Meron tayo itong tatlong uh, conditions for us to say kung ano ba ang nature of roots ng isang quadratic equation. First, if your discriminant is equal to 0, if your b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, we can say that the roots or the values in the values of a variable in a given quadratic equation are real and equal. So alam naman natin uh, what, the, what do we mean by real, real numbers kasi meron tayong real number system. Next, we have b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. If your discriminant, this is your discriminant, is greater than 0, we can say na yung roots natin are real and unequal. So meron silang kakaiba, yung, if your discriminant is 0, real and equal. Ibig sabihin parehas yung value ng variable or ng roots mo. If your discriminant is greater than 0 or mas mataas sa 0, your roots are real, but they're unequal. Next naman natin, yung third condition natin, if your discriminant is less than 0, then the roots are imaginary. Later on, makikita nyo kung paano siya limitin. So let's have example number 1. For example number 1, find the nature of roots of x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. So tiyatanong dito, are they real? equal or are they real and equal or are they imaginary so let's try using this okay we will use this one so gamitin natin to uh, by evaluating b squared minus 4ac again by evaluating b squared minus 4ac so mangyari dito guys is given this equation we need to find First, the value of A, B, and C. At yung A natin, this is your A, this is your B, yung kanina coefficients, and your C is the constant. So, this is your A, which is 1. Your A is equal to 1. Your B is equal to 4. And your C is equal to 3. Okay? Now, plug in lang natin yung value ng B, which is 4. So we have here 4 squared minus 4 times your a, which is 1, times your c, which is 3. Now, simplifying or evaluating this expression, this is 16. And then negative 4 times 1, that is negative 4 times 3, that will give you negative 12. And simplifying this, yeah, yung natin. There's 16 minus 12. 16 minus 12 is equal to 4. As you can see, your discriminant is equal to 4. Again, your discriminant is equal to 4. 4 is greater than 0. It will fall under this condition. Okay? It will fall under this condition. Therefore, The roots are, ito yung sagot natin eh. This is your discriminant, which is 4. And ito yung nature of roots natin. The roots are real. Isin natin. The roots are real and Unequal. Sir, bakit po unequal? Because your discriminant, 
is greater than zero, then they are really pero unequal. Now we need to prove if they're really unequal. So ito, try natin isolve yung ating x squared plus 4x plus 3 by factoring. Is equal to zero by factoring. We can factor out this trinomial bilang x plus 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. And then, and to, ang ginagawa ko ngayon is for checking lang. So, we will equate the two factors by 0. x plus 3 is equal to 0. While the other is x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon guys, transpose natin sa kabila to, it will give us x is equal to negative 3. This is the first value of x. While the other value of x, transposing this one, uh, this will give us x is equal to negative 1. So, as you can see guys, by verification or by checking, we can verify that the roots are real and then equal because negative 3 and negative 1 are real numbers. And then, negative 3 and negative 1 are unequal. So, I hope na nakuha niyo yung, ano natin, yung mismong uh, importance what is the, or what is the importance of discriminant in the quadratic equation. Kasi, possible na matanong kayo, what is the nature of the roots of this quadratic equation? So, given this expression or this condition, may alamin mo. So, in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you two more examples wherein we will try to solve for the discriminant of a quadratic equation. Pero yung isa doon, sasagutan niya. Now, let us continue our discussion on how to uh, determine the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation using discriminant. And this time, we will try to answer item 1, 2, and 3. And we are asked to characterize the roots of the following quadratic equations using the discriminant. So, in this case, guys, ako gagawa ng number 1 and number 2. Tapos yung number 3, kayo mismo gagawa sa sarili nyo. And I want to see your answer sa ating comment section for number 3. So, let's move to number 1. For number 1, we have b squared minus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. So, pag sinabi natin characterize, you are asked what are the nature or what is the nature of the roots of this given quadratic equation. So, we will use b squared minus 4ac and then your a is equal to 1 your b is equal to negative 6, your c is equal to 9. Substitute in this value so the given expression, you have negative 6 squared minus 4 times your a which is 1 and your c which is equal to 9. Ngayon guys, uh, simplifying negative 6 raised to 2, that is 36 or positive 36 and then negative 4 times 1 which is negative 4 times 9 that is negative 36. As you can see, our answer here is 0. So, ano ibig sabihin niyan if your discriminant is 0? Parang ganito lang siya. Your b squared minus 4ac or your discriminant is equal to 0. Ano ngayon ang nature of roots natin? Ang nature of roots natin, they are real and equal. Ito yung sagot natin. Again, this is your discriminant which is 0. Ito ngayon yung nature of roots. So let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, the value of your a is equal to 1, your b is equal to 2, your c is equal to 3. Now, using the same expression, b squared minus 4ac, substitute natin, which is 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3. This is 4. Negative 4 times 1, which is negative 4, times, neg times 3, that is negative 12. So, the discriminant here is negative 8. So, as you can see guys, pag ginawa natin siyang ganito, it will become b squared minus 4ac. Your discriminant is less than 0. Again, your discriminant is less than 0. That's why, if your discriminant is less than 0, ang mangyari dito guys, we can say that our discriminant is less than 0, your 
The nature of fruits is imaginary. Yan yung nature of fruits natin. Ngayon, saan na natindihan yung unang examples natin, even this one and this one, para masagutan nyo yung number three. And again, I hope na makita kayong kasagutan nyo o yung answer nyo sa ating comment section. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!